So that's uh, about it. Um, so these these uh, fit nicely together. Um, what uh, the organizer also doesn't tell you is uh, this uh, Z deck or something. Um, I opened it. It contains all kinds of wire road cards and in, uh, lots of text with instructions. And if you put them back, um, there is the chance of them uh, not uh, sliding in. So you would have to uh, use a trick to put the back cards first inside. Otherwise, they don't. Uh, uh, they don't. Uh, you can't close it. And also, this is very flimsy. As you saw, uh, this tears open. So. Um, Best to reinforce it first with uh, um, scotch tape. Uh, yeah, and these bags, uh, I used temporarily my own bags, uh, but uh, they there are bags uh, that I found out later. Um, they are in another uh, set. So you have these uh, hexagons, they go into the giant bag, and you can put them aside. Um, there is also the other tree things uh, and and uh, terrain uh, things. Uh, what also nobody told you, yeah. So the free company. Uh, let's just take out uh, one of these. Let's say. Uh, so you, the what the game also tells you is uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, here. Uh, place each pile of cards into the character safe bag, matching their ic character icon and name. So what I first did was uh, to look for something that like crap. <laughs> That's what I mean with this plastic. Uh, to look for uh, the the icon. Uh, you can sort them by icon because um, they look like uh, like so. So you have uh, eight. Uh, separate uh, things. Then in another pack you find the character cards uh, and if you have these 12 things uh, or 8 things, I'm not sure, uh, uh, then you, you take out all the, uh, the bags like so and uh, you can easily identify and, and take them uh, uh, or, uh, and sort them uh, one by one. But you also have these cards, and I, I was very confused about these cards because in the, uh, later I found out uh, that in the middle you have to look. Uh, it's like uh, in Gloomhaven that uh, uh, <laughs> you have two actions. Uh, there are two car four cards with two actions on each of two sides. So that's four times four is 16 things that your companion can do. Um, and all the time I was like, where where are the rats? Where are the rats? They are not here. And uh, yeah, uh, so If you go through this, uh, I mean, the, the top uh, the, the, the top cover box uh, uh, promises you uh, that you are fighting. Uh, all the influencers uh, try to tell you that uh, you are fighting um, uh, the brood mother, uh, and, and 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 I haven't found a fucking red. Uh, show me the reds. Uh, I've always lo also looked uh, into this. Uh, this is a giant stack with a uh, giant warning that uh, do not look at the faces of these boards. Well, I, you see the face. But also I peered through something like this and uh, there is no reds. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, so I'm just really curious uh, how this is supposed to play. Um, the other thing that nobody tells you is how big is the board. Uh, so I will show you next. 
So just just uh, remember that uh, uh, you should take the optimal organization uh, to minimize the amount of doubt uh, while uh, organizing the the but these things they tend to escape. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I've, I suspect that these sh should fit tightly, and uh, if they fit tightly, then uh, they they are complete, right? Uh, but this this is not complete. So yeah, not really sure how wh how many of them. Maybe I'm missing some. Uh, they tend to roll all over the place. Now uh, this, how big is the board? This is four times uh, one fourth. So this is 24 times 30. Uh, 30. Four, thirty-five. So twenty-four times thirty-four, and you have a back side uh, which is brownish, and the front side, and since things uh, have a preference of direction, uh, I would say to put it th this in the northwest, and if you see. It takes up a lot of space, um, but maybe I'll um, play it on my uh, desk, uh, which has a little more space. But that, that is uh, all I wanted to, to say about uh, uh, organizing Oathsword into the deep wood. And uh, well, aside from, um, um, in hindsight, 2020, uh, to pay 30 euros extra for the uh, the custom cloth uh, uh, character cards. Um, I would also suggest uh, to, to sleeve um, because the cards have black um, outer sides, um, and that way you uh, uh, you can you will protect the, the the outer edges. I should have um, opted for sleeves. So little regrets, uh, but um, yeah, I'll see how how to set it up because um, what I ended up with is like twice the, s the amount of uh, spaces, and here are the encounter book and the uh, mini the minis and. Uh, this you can print out from uh, um, from the web store, uh, which I will use my um, my, my, my professional printer. Uh, this uh, uh, opens up with uh, this uh, side, but uh, you should uh, look for the title, the journal. And if you open it, it says uh, "Do not read it." Uh, so that's an easy one. Uh, the encounter book. Um, Very very small font, but it is uh, it is readable and um, it's in serif, so that's uh, that's nice. Uh, and this is how to repack the box. Um, then it comes with the story rule book with a nice glossary. Um, a separator with which is just a cardboard and a storybook for the chapters 1 to 11 and an encounter rule book which I have no clue what it is about um, it's also not clear uh, how to proceed after the instructions uh, of uh, uh, organizing, so that that should be also taken into account. 
and there, uh, there are some typos uh, which I didn't expect, uh, but I won't complain about them. So that's uh, that's about all, and uh, I hope uh, you found this uh, useful. Uh, the miniatures have been shown, uh, and you get them uh, regardless of uh, what uh, version you pay. Um, and I, I believe it will hold its value and uh, uh, it looks uh, quite solid and doesn't, doesn't uh, appear to need much uh, house ruling. So looking forward to, to uh, first steps into the deboot. Okay, bye.